So, I got some subwoofers that I'm trying to put together. And uh, I see all the videos online and, and the wiring diagrams I can understand uh, when you're showing me uh, something like that right here. And you're going to say positive to positive, negative to negative, because you're going to have one voice coil here, one voice coil here on each sub. So you're going to have one here, one here. So the positive to positive, negative to negative. Then we're going to cross one and run the other two to the amp. But how to wire that actually. So what I have here, two kickers. Uh, we got one, two. And this one, we got a jumper pos negative to negative. And then we got positive to positive. And then we're going to have a positive out. You know, so this one's going to be out to the box. All right, and on the other one, same thing. Negative jumper here to negative here, positive here to positive here, and then we're going to run negative to the out on the box. Now, a lot of the diagrams would lead you to believe you got to have these, you know, lot, you're going to have two ends here, two ends here, two ends here, two ends here. Well, this is how you can actually physically wire it. So I'm going to run my jumper from positive to negative because that's going to be this connection here on our on our drawing. So negative to positive. So positive. And I'm going to set this down here to negative. Uh, so we got positive. I'm trying to do this right so I don't have to redo it after I'm done making the video. And I use heavier gauge. A lot of people use a lighter gauge, it seems, and it's like, you know, the kind of power you're going to push to a sub like this, why would you? Use the biggest you can. It's safer. It carries more low. It doesn't get as hot. <clears throat> Do it right the first time rather than risking it running too small a wire or whatever. Now, this is going to take two dual voice coils at 2 ohms. And it's going to run on a 2 ohm stable amp. Basically, you're doing a parallel series circuit on the, on the, here. And then you're doing a series circuit to the amp. So parallel means the same goes to the same. We're going to do positive to the other positive. We're going to do negative to the other negative with a small jumper. As you can see, I got a small jumper that goes negative to negative. We've got another one here, positive to the positive. And then I got a jumper that goes positive over to negative. And then the same thing over here. Negative to negative. Positive around to the positive. And then on these top two of this voice coil. So we're using this voice coil. We'll call it the, the right side and the left side. This is the left side. This is the right side. And we've tied the other side together with our parallel circuit. Now we're going to do a series circuit. So we need to do positive to negative and then here's to our amp and we're going to do a negative out to our negative and a positive out to our negative and that's a series circuit so then we have one parallel running this side of the voice coils each opposite sides that side and that side and then in the middle we got a series circuit and that's going to so we're doubling our amp ohmage and then we're cutting it in half. And that way, you can take two dual voice coil 2 ohm subs and run them down to 2 ohms for your amp. Because the amp I have is a pyramid. It's an old POS. You know, I'm not, not interested in being a competition series. I just wanted some bumps in the trunk. Got these subs really cheap. And so, you know, they show you here running uh, 2 ohm uh, single voice coil subs. You know, and I'm like, well, wait a minute. You know, that's only running at 4 ohms. We don't want to run that way. So it's showing you a series circuit, negative to positive, which that's what we have. We have this circuit in place. But to get to our 2 ohms, we also have the second voice coil here and here. And then we're creating a parallel circuit between them. And that's going to knock that number in half to 2 ohm. And so it's important to know what your amps are capable of. I know a lot of them are now really stable at 1 ohm. Um, this one says it's stable at 2, 4, or 8. Well, you gain, you know, 
almost a third power to go to the lower ohms. Lower resistance, more power can flow through the circuit more easily. But if your amp isn't rated to carry that, then you're going to overheat your amp and blow it up. Now let's say you have an uh, amp that's stable at 1 ohm, but you don't want to overheat it, you want to protect it, run them in a 2 ohm load, you know, because you have maybe too much power for your subs. You're going to get a better sound quality at lower ohms, or at higher ohms, less, you know, you're going to have less distortion, you're going to fight the, th the things less, but if you need the power, you want to max your subs out, or you have, you know, subs that are capable of handling way more, then sure, run them down, you know, 1 ohm or 2 ohm or whatever your max is. But I never run uh, to a half ohm or even 1 ohm typically. Just, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, when we were building systems when we were young, it was always uh, 4 ohm subs. All car stereo stuff was 4 ohm. Then they came out with the dual voice coil subs where we came common, but they were dual 4 ohm. You know, so your wiring options were 1 ohm or 8 ohm. And, and, stuff so it got really complex and and nowadays you got dual two dual four singles you know and so you really gotta take what you have or what you want and then define it and that's going to kind of you know you can create wiring to to meet that need or if you want to run them don't want to run them like that maybe buy an amp that is going to be more stable at a different homage based on how you want to wire them but take those things into consideration I'm going to slap these bad boys in the box quick, and uh, I'll, I'll have a little follow-up after that. Another good resource I wanted to point out is uh, Sonics Electronics, and that's S-O-N-I-C-E-L-E-C-T-R-O-N-I-X.com. It has uh, diagrams, and you can, you know, right here, put in your number of subs. If you can see my new touchscreen PC is awesome. Uh, how many voice coils each sub has, what the impedance of those voice coils are, you can see the drop down 2, 4, or 8, uh, what kind of type of amp you have. So uh, mono, which if you think about a bridge 2 channel amp is a mono amp, or two, four, a 4 channel bridge to 2 different channels would be a 2 channel amp, think of it like that, and then you just pick your wiring diagram, and what we were just doing is right there on the screen. I'm going to have a printout of that. I'll try to show you a close-up. But here you, you can see they're doing um, the parallel here. We are just flipping it around, doing them in the opposite, <coughs> opposite order. But that's two dual voice coil, two ohm subs, wired at two ohms. So that's the best way. And they got some really nice, easy-to-follow diagrams that make it really easy. Um, I recommend to checking that out. Uh, so yeah.